Hi everyone, this is Radul Live and we are at Kasarani Stadium along Fika Road uh, because I'm catching up with the super athlete. I'm calling him super athlete because I'm telling the future. Yeah. Guys, uh, Marco <laughs> Tiano, 100 meter athlete. How are yes. you doing, Mark? Um, I'm doing well, thank you. Hey, it's good to see your smile on your face. <laughs> thank you. And his beautiful <laughs> wife, also athlete, Stephanie Obiambo. Hi. How are you doing, Stephanie? I'm doing well. <laughs> you know, you guys don't know how good it feels to see you smiling. No, mm, I can't. Thank because you. the last time we met was almost a year ago mm. and things were very, very different. Tell me how the last couple of months have been before you found out the results of your case. How has the, la the last one year been for you guys? Um, for me personally, the, one, the past one one year it has been i'll say difficult mm -hmm. but um through the prayers of external family friends it's something that has been shikilia all through and i will say that i've been looking forward to the day for the results and i've been looking forward to my comeback but right now since we've got the final results that i'll be back um this year um, things in July, things are now different. Mm. Just to explain for people who don't know what you're talking about, of course, <laughs> Mark, you got uh, uh, suspended from uh, two days before you were supposed mm. to compete mm -hmm. at the Tokyo Olympics in uh, 2021. Yes. Tokyo 21 mm -hmm. was in August 2021. So yes. It was like a day, two days before your race. Mm -hmm. You were told banned substance found in your uh samples mm -hmm. and you cannot race and you are facing an, an ending <laughs> you, do, you don't even know what you're facing yes. because it's like you're going to be suspended mm. it could have been two years could have been four years yeah so we're picking up the story of course from there mm -hmm. and uh i know it was very difficult but you contested it mm. so, uh, stephanie at any point in the last one year did you feel like giving up because i know it wasn't easy <sighs> Man, I think I gave up <laughs> every morning, <laughs> probably. You had to wake up and just psych yourself. And after the day is done, you have to start over the psyching process again. So mm. giving up, I think every day we gave up. Because track is not easy. Yeah. And just coming to train, going through all the financial costs, the physical costs, not knowing why you're training, mm. was just one of the hardest things it's I think we've had. Yeah. It was just so difficult. And... I'm just so glad it's done. Mm. I'm just so glad. Take me to the moment you found out. I, I remember, I think it was in November, Steph, when we spoke, and yeah. you told mm. me, hey, we've come out of the final A hearing, hearing mm. and things are looking bad. Mm -hmm. um, the hearing lasted um, around six hours, mm -hmm. and it was just so painful, especially personally for me, sitting there and watching Mark getting a dress down. It hurt me so much. Even at some point, I was like, I wish it was me rather than him. And there's something about when the people you love facing issues. Mm. And I remember coming out of that hearing saying, I'm done. We are done. Like, you guys, <laughs> stay in the track. I don't want it. And it was just so painful because mm. we've tried over and over to say we did not do it intentionally. Yeah. But it seems it seemed like Nobody no one, was to believe no one wanted yeah. to believe us. And so after the hearing, which lasted six hours, mm. we were just like, do you want to? Do we uh, want to? Do you really want to? I remember, yeah, to and excuse me if I. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you sent me a text and you said, we, we are not sure we were meant to do this <laughs> because it's just so hard. It's not yeah. fun anymore. Yeah. It was not fun anymore. Yeah. Because even before the suspension, the issues we mm. faced, right coming up to Olympics, we didn't have shoes, we mm. don't have financial support. And then we reached there, and then. <laughs> and then this. You don't run and come last. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. We've, exactly. Done, we've done everything uh. by the book. We've done mm -hmm. all the other um, classes he's been to. We've yeah. done everything. And still, it's not enough. Mm. And I'm like, ah. But, but you <laughs> held on. And yes. I remember there's a post I put last month. And mm. I said, these two people love God. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Something made you hold on. Mm. Yeah. Tell me about the moment you, f you got the result that's unintentional. I think it she cried on the phone. <laughs> she called me and cried. Well, I remember that day I woke up and on that Sunday there was a sermon that one of my good friend, our pastors, um, it came from Psalms chapter 68, verse 28. Um, in NIV it says that, Summon your power, <laughs> oh Lord. Hey, I remember that day I woke up, I was just feeling, I didn't go too happy. And I was like, Lord, today, summon your power. <laughs> and during midday, we got the, as in, the lawyer just gave us the, a short brief of the case and we were like we won the case and it's contamination and i was like hey lord you summoned your power, As in you summoned your power. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real life 
miracle. Yes, it, it was. Is. It was. It, I wish you were all at the hearing. <laughs> as in, after the hearing, you're like, hey, hey, ikitu, man. To be honest, we were like, God, as in, <laughs> we, we, we were the Red Sea thinking that as in after that we are like god drown. Ah, as in we are drown we are like drowned. if if we as in if, if magic part ni wewe ni wewe cuz all through from january until the very last minute until um until november we were like things are moving smoothly the case ni ndapoa we were happy but the hearing it's in kitutia ni to crash kabisa and the truth if couple were like eh hey god okay after hapa tukitoka ni ni wewe si 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 vile tukodla Cynthia sent me a text it, uh, sorry uh, Stephanie sent me a text and it, it broke my heart mm. because i'm like you cannot be that talented True. and you're questioning whether you're meant to do this exactly mm. and god saw you through god I don't yeah. yeah. say <laughs> god, god that was exactly. the and even if you read, uh-huh. if you read the ruling which was 52 mm. pages yeah there was a place where there was 800 pages of evidence <laughs> 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 that's how um, like if you go through the 52 page hearing mm. the, um, the ruling you and you you'll see god because True. let yes. me bring you forward you've got yes. the result how mm. have things been the last couple of weeks <sighs> christmas was well, let me tell you, oh. I've enjoyed my be- this holiday of Christmas, Annie. We've lived our, I, I can say we've lived our entire life. One week. Oh. As in, I'm like, it's, it, there are things that we looked forward to, especially just to celebrate Christmas in peace, mm. um, to just be calm, knowing that at least we know the future, how it will go, and yeah, we did really it's enjoy something ourselves. something to look forward to. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So relief. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we even feel lighter. I think exactly. we've lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> Our scales are like we've lost <laughs> weight. <laughs> 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 secret. <laughs> well, um, if uh, sorry. But of, but of course the challenges are not over mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. you still have the next couple of months yeah. until the end of July. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, at least now you know what you're looking at. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But things like finances, sponsorships, whatever, they don't come instantly. True, mm-hmm. true. You still have seven months or so mm-hmm. to go. Mm-hmm. How are you facing these challenges? I know there's hope, so that's already mm-hmm. a plus. Yeah. But how the, there's well, still other, what other challenges do you still have? Um, of course, like coming in for training, mm-hmm. that's a cost. Yeah. Um, paying rent, you know, just the, the ri- a rising cost. But cost yeah. Yeah. I feel like when the issues, when the main issue has been lifted, yeah. you, somehow you can, you, exactly. you can survive. You can survive. They're like, I'll eat bread, but I'm happy, <laughs> you get. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we, we, these costs are there, which mm-hmm. have been there, but it feels not as a big of a deal mm-hmm. than before mm. so we're, we're managing here and there with help from of course family and friends yeah but we're just trying to manage as we go yeah what's 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 your what's been the biggest lesson for you mark um my biggest lesson for all this is that to trust god because despite all this that has happened is that mm. and all through the prayers it's not that i changed god's mind while i was praying it's that the prayer changed my mind especially thinking just towards how god functions mm. it's because that it's just a red sea that has parted in our lives and I'm, I'm, I keep telling guys that this is the biggest miracle that he has done for my past six years of my career because I was j- my mind was just thinking of four years what will I do for the next four years I'll be back in like 32 or 33 years what will I do do I quit do I, exactly yeah, yeah. do I quit do I start coaching and all stuff and I was like Yanni God has seen us through mm. this time yeah in terms of what you consume how has that changed um, how has that changed is that now I'm focusing more of diet. Mm-hmm. That's the main thing that we are looking at at the moment. But it's still tricky because I can remember you telling me that mm-hmm. the reason a lot of our athletes take mm-hmm. supplements yes. because if you're running 100 meters, for example, mm-hmm. um, there's a certain diet you need which mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. not really affordable yes. to most Kenyan athletes, and yeah. especially if you've not yet broken through. Yeah. Um, so. How you how you narrowing that gap, or, or are there options? Are there food options? Have you had to do more? I know you do a lot of investigative <laughs> <laughs> work um, in terms of what you can eat, what you can do, what you can. We discovered mm. on the AIU page through mm. the Instagram page that they have something a page called Informed Sport. So uh-huh. there are supplements that have gone through um, banned substance tested. Okay. They are more expensive than the regular supplements, but they are safer. It's not a guarantee that you f- you won't fail a drug test, but they have been tested so that's what we've been using so you have to go to the shop check the batch number check if it has check if it has an informed spot stamp oh so they stamp something they it has a stamp oh, that makes it easier it yeah. makes it easier but you have to be you have to dedicate like a whole day or two mm. to just do your research go through shop by shop 
and then of course keeping your receipts, recording, mm -hmm. and all everything, just putting everything that's in order. That's a small order. price to pay to see him at the next compared <laughs> compared to what we <laughs> passed through. That's Ooh. like a fraction. We'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll take it. What's uh? I know you've been training on and off, on and off. What yeah. times are you doing now? Or, or this is a bad time in training. <laughs> <laughs> Um, for Teddy, you've taken uh -huh. a break, kinda. Yeah. You mm. needed it to exhale. Yeah, mm -hmm. we did, we did, and um, right now I think we are training during the midday, because mm. um, we are trying to avoid um, people, and just to kind of focus. Because at this time now, all our energies is like after seven months we need to look for a race and qualify for Olympics. If that's out of the plate, now we start focusing on now on next year's Olympics, 2024, and the future. But yeah. in terms of times, we we don't know where we we stand because it just. <laughs> We're just, just back. We're yes. just back, You're so we don't know what times are hitting. Mm. Exhaling also, just, we're just excited to train. Mm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, but you s your coach, you still have your coach? Uh, yes, your we Zoom do. guy? Mm -hmm. Yes, Zoom guy. <laughs> Hi, Zoom guy. He's a Man United supporter. <laughs> ah, yes, he is. Yes, he's a die, uh, die hard. Confused. <laughs> <laughs> Confused color. <laughs> uh -huh. Though we won with Man City. That's, ah. a, that's a good that's a, that's a one. Win win. For us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. um. What's in store for you guys beyond? So what? What's what immediately when you come back in July? What's mm -hmm. the immediate? What races are lined up? Is your first focus going to be twenty twenty four Olympics, or are there other games you need to, like on the continent? Um, Cause the qualification window closes on the midnight when Max suspension ends, so day. he cannot qualify <laughs> for Budapest. He cannot qualify <laughs> for All Africa oh Games, yes. which is fine. It's mm. a small price again to yeah. pay. So we are focusing on 2024, 24. which is Paris, oh, yeah. the Olympics, and it's okay. Mm -hmm. So we are hoping to have races to run and hit the qualifying time before the qualification window closes in 2024. Mm. And yeah, probably while relays. Oh yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What would you like to tell any corporate sponsor who's watching in terms of... Hey, guys! <laughs> cash, <laughs> in, <laughs> cash in now! <laughs> um, well, I would love the support, just mm -hmm. like the way they did, um, especially Safaricom. Um, they came through, and the money that they gave us, it actually came at the right time. It helped you fight yeah, your case. Yeah, it really did. It really did, because we didn't know how much it cost, especially just to test every supplement and it helped us to prove the case and also to pay our day-to-day -day, um, things. Upkeep, yeah. Upkeep, Upkeep, yeah. And legal. And legal. What, uh, maybe Steph, yes. I can ask you this question um, because you're not the one still banned uh, or suspended. Um, <laughs> we're seeing a lot of our athletes mm. going down this road. Mm. Mm. And I guess Mark's case is a lesson. I mean, this year, 2022, sorry, has mm -hmm. been so bad mm. Mm. that Kenya was at risk of getting an international suspension. From yes. Mm. Mm. And your case has proven that it's actually, we need to think again and mm. stop mm. condemning these athletes mm. and telling them, hey, you're all yeah. doping. Because yeah. mm. mm. this is a lesson. True. Yeah. True. But what would you tell those athletes going through this right now? They don't even know where to start <coughs> in terms of fighting their case. Um, Thank you so much for that question. I'd say number one, get representation. True. Don't try and go at it alone. Mm -hmm. um, just don't accept the three year, because the option is if you don't fight it, you'll mm. get a three year ban. Yeah. But if you fight it, there's a possibility you'll get four years. But what is, what is not often given is mm -hmm. you can fight it and get even lesser than. Like your case. Yeah, like yeah. our case. So I'd say mm -hmm. get representation. Mm -hmm. It's worth the investment. And yeah. there are lawyers out there who are willing to help athletes. Mm without you know it's not so expensive there mm. are very many understanding sports lawyers out there mm -hmm. so i'd say get representation mm -hmm. um keep a track record of everything you've had before like your doping control forms mm. the supplements mm -hmm. and just be very honest mm -hmm. about your dealings be, be very honest if you know for sure for sure that you did not you know do it intentionally mm. Please, please, by all fight means, it. fight it. Yeah. You don't have to go down the drain with three mm. years. Mm. Yeah. It, it's, uh, what would you like to tell Sarah? I know Sarah Chodo is your lawyer. She's <laughs> been with you from uh, day one day <laughs> when you escaped <laughs> through the airport. Yeah, but to like <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, yeah. And all what our calls. What does she mean in your life, man? What does what she does mean she in your life? Um, well, I could share she's, um, she's very calm when it comes to handling cases. She can't overpromise. And mm. she's very well strategic when she's doing all this mm. thing. And um, she's well calculated with her, with her lawyer, with, uh, her, lawyer. <laughs> with her lawyer job. <laughs> as, as a sports lawyer, yes, she, as a sports lawyer. she knows what she's she knows doing. What she's doing <laughs> and she does a lot of research. And the good mm. thing is that 
she supports every client that she gets. Yeah, she supports with every her client. Heart, with eh? her heart. It's not about the paycheck. Yes, it's not about no, no, the paycheck. At some point, she waived it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But at some point, we were like, we can't pay you because we're even fighting on how to, we, we're even battling to pay her and buying food and even going for training. And she had to stop um, her fees and be like, you know what? Your freedom comes first. Mm. Well, yeah, so That's after freedom, now we'll talk going forward. Pay me later. We, yeah, pay mm. me later. That's, I think, yeah. That's, I think that's very important. Sarah got me World Cup tickets. <laughs> wow. I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know which FIFA board. She got me tickets hey. for Croatia versus yeah. Belgium. Uh -huh. So thank you, Sarah, while we're at it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, wow. You, Steph, mm -hmm. you're also an athlete. Mm -hmm. So I know this has also taken a toll on you. Yes. Even though you were not serving any suspension. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But it took a toll on your own training and mm. your own belief in the system and mm. asking, why should I do this? Mm. So what's in store for you? Um... For me, I'd say, <laughs> I think I sacrifice a lot. I just want Mark ah, back does. before I get back. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to competing this year. Mm -hmm. And hopefully now that the truth is out, the stigma would be less. I don't mind the stigma, mm -hmm. but I think it would, it would help if I run with less stigma. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so I'm looking forward to, you know, just coming, back. To coming back and, mm -hmm. and running. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, feel like I feel like crying because we're laughing so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Last time we were crying, there were tears. There were tears. And I think this is just a relief. Mm. Yeah, but sure. I think it's also a lesson to, to uh, Athletics Kenya mm -hmm. to believe more yeah, mm. True. Mm. in athletes. Yeah. Um, and those who are going through it now, mm. uh, don't just uh, discard them the way you were. Yeah, true. true. You're left on your own, literally. Yeah. Yeah, you know? mm -hmm. it's 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 yeah, because I believe that like, don't ab abandon anyone, especially if someone mm. is suspended during a, a meet or during a championship, because just stick with them till the very end. Mm. You never know the outcome, yeah. yeah, you never know the outcome. Yeah, and we're loving this outcome. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, thank you guys, thank oh, you so you're much. Welcome. I'll let you get Sarah. back to your training. It's too hot for me to join you. <laughs> I'm, I'm lying. I can only run like 20 <laughs> meters and I'm panting. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to go to the pitch so that you can show me a thing or two. Steph, oh, okay. you show me a thing or two. Me? Okay, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll show guys, you. we have been catching up with uh, Marco Tieno and Stephanie Odiambo um, after AIU. Um, <laughs> yeah, my crew and they have phones here. After AIU, um, basically cleared you mm -hmm. and said it was unintentional mm -hmm. and uh, it was a contaminated substance yeah. and you will be back on the th is it 31st of July or 1st of August? 35, let's say. Let's just say 1st of August. Midnight. At 12 or 1 running. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why not? Why yes. not? Why not? Let's have a party on the 31st of July. There's something to celebrate. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Um, so we're going to go down to the track and they're going to show me a thing or two see whether I can join 100 meters at this vast age of mine. True. But thank you guys for being <laughs> on Red <Bull> Life. <laughs> at your 18 years of age. Mm. <laughs> 18 to <till> I die. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys for thank watching Red Bull Live. See you next week. No, wait for the training session. <laughs>